Hello friends, well it is the video that I'm leading up to after filming each individual videos I am finally talking about my 2020 planning and journaling system Before I start talking about my 2020 system, let's recap 2019 I started the year in a pocket ring and then moved on and set up a nice A6 bullet journal which I always like to refer to again and again then citing some um, difficulty with there having no rings i set up an a6 rings it was so pretty but i didn't work out for me as well then i moved back to a pocket ring and then for a time i tried classic hp and then i wanted to go smaller and went the smallest which is the micro hp and for notes, I set up the micro TNs and then I moved on to an A6 disc and finally back to pocket ring until I think October 2019. After analyzing this whole trend of moving from one planner to another, the reason why I jump from one planner to one planner is simple. I want the excitement, the ex shiny object syndrome, and the the burst of dopamine in your brain whenever you set up something new. Unfortunately, I think it is actually the lack of areas to put things into that makes someone lose trust and try another planner. Insert notebook. Just think, similar to your life, if you don't assign a place where to find your cutleries or a designated storage for your makeup, you'll feel very very frustrated half of the time. Take my needs for example. I needed an area to put dated events, appointments, so I won't forget. I need project areas, reference areas, my vision planning, business and content planning. Until now, these areas are missing or in fragmented areas. That notebook had some ideas, another had my business outline, yet another planner had my kids appointment. I can be the most creative person, but if I don't have a system that I can trust to remind me and help me execute tasks, delegate, then being creative doesn't help me one bit. It is the same with other creative outlets such as journaling and playing with stickers. Having designated notebooks for each particular purpose or planner is a must to feel super organized. Now let's talk about my system for 2020. For planning, I combine both analog and digital tools. For capturing ideas and everything, it is my pocket ring in my finance planner as well as my to do list as my digital tool. For calendar and task, I utilize my B6 Muji, the one you're seeing right now, and my digital tool Notion for project planning. I also have a mini HP for work. I have been using that for three years now and I'm not gonna change. And for reference, I have my A6 rings, my reference binder, and also my finance as to plan my financial aspect of it, a uh, Google Drive for my filing cabinet, and a pocket notebook as a commonplace notebook or a catch-all notebook. In terms of journals, I have my B6 Muji, which acts as my stickering planner, my Hobonichi A6, which is my personal journal, and for pictures, I want to put them all in one place, which is my Project Life album. Sometimes I also want to get creative, so I also work in my art journals. I also have a notebook which is the B6 Scribbles that matter in the teal color, and this is where I put my forever notes. I call this a system because each item is not a complete standalone thing. I wish the way I live my life has both digital and analog elements. I consume digital and online content on Instagram, YouTube, podcasts, audiobooks. I also read physical books and I have to have physical inboxes. And for example, for things like bills, receipt and borang-borang. To manage it all, I combine s tools such as bullet journaling, which I will show you later, 
getting things done and personal knowledge management PKM which is a concept that is made uh, you know discovered by Tiago Forte I use one concept that Tiago Forte teaches called code C O D E which stands for capture organize distill and express so what I mean by capture is you capture all of the things, the, all of the inboxes to do, all of your goals, ideas, and I have my pocket bullet journal and to do is to do that. Then you organize it all, which is you use your calendar to manage your events and your task management. And I, I do that with, with my bullet journal B6, my A6 rings and my scribble that matter notebook to refer to in this area as well I use my notion to manage all of my projects and the last tool I use in the organizing part is my Google Drive to have all of my things then I consider my Google Drive as my filing cabinet next it's distill which is something that I haven't explored much but basically you have to summarize all of this so that when you need to refer back to it again you know and you don't have to you know reread all of these article blogs you rewatch all the YouTube videos again and again you just need to see one line summary of it to understand what it was about and finally E which stands for express um, you share what you know because you, you have to tell your story you are unique you have your own point of view and your own perception so the world needs your story definitely at the very least just share your planner the way you plan because someone somewhere does you know need the idea and be motivated by what you have shared so there it is my 2020 system both digital and analog i hope this gives you an idea if you're still thinking about your 2020 system start small five years ago i tried so many planners pl styles and inserts finally after finding all of these tools and concept like blog scheduling getting things done building a second brain personal knowledge management following various productivity guru Vienna Ortiz, Miss Trenchcoat, Matt Diavella, Thomas Frank, and even taking my own father as an example, who just get things done. It doesn't have to be perfect, but done. I feel ready to tackle 2020. Basically, my best advice in finding your system is just start and keep tweaking and keep learning about yourself and about your system and also get the tools that you need organize them in its place and you can find them easily by labeling or searching for them so hopefully that is some the best shape that you i can give you right now so guys that's it for now if you have any questions please let me know until next time take care bye